Hey everyone, Sleep App Gentleman here. Wondering if you or a loved one has sleep apnea? There's a simple way to find out. Stop. One of the biggest obstacles in diagnosing sleep apnea is the ability to identify the physical characteristics and symptoms that are associated with the condition. Through the years, physicians have been on the lookout for telltale signs, but are only successful if their patients come walking through their doors. People need to be able to advocate for their own health, but that's not always easy if you don't know what to look out for. Luckily, a group of researchers and professors from Toronto Western Hospital and the University of Toronto put together a questionnaire. It was named STOP BANG, a convenient acronym used to screen patients for the elusive sleep disorder. The questionnaire is comprised of several yes and no questions. The questions are as follows. Do you snore? Do you feel tired, drowsy, or sleepy? Has anyone observed you and noticed you stop breathing? Do you have high blood pressure? Is your BMI higher than 35? Are you older than 50? Is your neck size larger than 41 centimeters? Are you a dude? Answering yes to two questions or less puts you at low risk of having sleep apnea. Answering yes to three or four questions puts you at an intermediate risk. And finally, answering yes to five or more questions puts you at severe risk of having the disorder. If you think you or someone you know may have a higher risk of sleep apnea, the first step is to contact a family doctor. They can confirm your suspicions and give you a much needed referral to a sleep specialist who may ask you or the person you know to participate in a sleep study. The sleep study will confirm with a great deal of accuracy, I might add, whether or not a sleep disorder is present. A full night's sleep isn't even required. Plenty of data can be obtained from just a couple hours of monitoring. After that, CPAP therapy will most likely be prescribed, although there are other less popular treatments available. And no, thinking it'll just go away is not one of those treatments. For more information about sleep apnea or its therapy, check out some of my other videos. The only question I have left for you is, are you subscribed yet? See you soon. CPAP gentlemen, out.